Hello, my name is Luis Avila, and first of all, I would like to apologize for not um, coming up with the artistic representation. Art it has always been something that I struggled with, even though the professor uh, said it didn't have to be the best work of art. I've chosen to do a speech. Moving forward, this speech, I would like to discuss how my self-esteem affects my communication. Now, I would like to talk about the communication between my friends and with strangers. So, um, first of all, growing up, my self-esteem was not always the best just because I was a big kid. I was really tall, but I was also really heavy. Um, so that caused a lot of picking when growing up. Uh, so as a consequence of that, um, I grew like very self self-conscious and like with this little self-esteem over how i look so sometimes you know like despite me going through this weight loss um i still feel very uh self-conscious um so when i talk to talk to someone or like let's say i'm at the gym and like someone talks to me for some reason i'm just like oh no like i hope they don't you know I hope they don't think wrong of me because uh, th that also, uh, my self-esteem also, like, made me uh, think that I, I needed approval from everyone that I communicate with, that I speak with. So due to that, um, instead of instead of trying to, like, be more outgoing and try to gain good first impressions, I have, uh, over time, just... Whenever I meet someone new, I, I, I tend to keep the conversation very limited. I can I tend to be very reserved just because I, I, I rather I rather end the conversation quick before I uh before I like show who, how I am and like not gain their approval. Um it's always been it's always been something that I think about. Um with my friends. It's very different, but again my low self esteem comes into play. I've always tried to like not show that I'm not very confident in myself by like being outgoing, um, you know, I I I, I try to like be the f the fun guy, the funny guy, but you know, my self esteem, like I I um, I guess I guess um, my my self esteem causes me to uh, to um, you know be someone I'm not but I don't want to say that because at the end I, I, I'm I am I am like you know outgoing but it's not it's not the it's not for the um for entirely for the right reasons so when I do communicate with my friends I, I try not to um show that I'm that I have low self-esteem but more importantly when I talk to um when I talk to strangers and I meet new people um I tend to struggle with that a lot at my job, for example. I work around people. I've been working there for like a year and a half, but I've been scared to open up to any anyone. So for a year and a half, I've just been working on my own. I work at FedEx, so I haven't really, I haven't really made friends there just because like I'm scared. Like oh, like what if they don't like me? And um, it's been something that's always been on my mind. And then the the people I do talk to, I'm very reserved. Like I said, I I'm like hi how are you and the conversation and it's stuff like that that has caused my self-esteem to you know come into play when i communicate with others and has um hindered me from making new friendships which um i know i can work on um but this speech i i hope that um that that um you guys uh understood a little more about um how my self-esteem has uh, come into play in my life with like communicating with others I, I know i didn't make a visual visual representation but i hope what i said um could express that my self-esteem has um been kind of a setback throughout the years when it comes to communicating with others um which I have learned that even though I have massively improved, I have 
not reached where I want to be at. But I hope to reach it once soon. Thank you guys for listening.